Put your foot on the rollboard, then slowly push forward while keeping your weight over your front foot. If you're doing this for the first time, it will be easiest if you use a stop at the end of the cycle, such as a block of wood. As you become comfortable with this move, try it without the stop. With any of these moves, if you are feeling pain, stop doing it. Over time, gradually increase the distance of your lunge. You can do this move with or without a stop at the end of the cycle. Here, Keith is doing a full extension. The challenging part will be to pull back after you're fully extended. During the move, keep your lower leg roughly vertical with your knee not going past your toes. To add an upper body element to this exercise, you can use a medicine ball or dumbbells. Extend the ball forward with each lunge. You can do all of these moves either on a hard floor or a padded surface. The padded surface will dampen the movement, but will also add more resistance. Set one foot on the rollboard, then slowly push backward while keeping your weight centered between your feet. If you're doing this for the first time, it will be easiest if you use a stop at the end of the cycle, such as a block of wood. Next, work on gradually extending your lunge. Here, Keith is doing a full extension. Work on keeping your movements steady and in control. To add an upper body element to this exercise, you can use a medicine ball, such as this move where you pass the medicine ball under your leg. Step on the rollboard, then push slowly sideways while keeping your weight over your front foot. If you're doing this for the first time, it will be easiest if you use a stop at the end of the cycle, such as a block of wood. Over time, gradually increase the distance of your lunge. You can do this move with or without a stop at the end of the cycle. However, it's more difficult without the stop. Keep your movement slow and steady and keep your knee positioned over the deck. Lay on your back and put your feet on the rollboard. With your arms at your side, pull the deck towards you while engaging your core to lift your hips off the ground. Over time, work on increasing the amount of time that your hips are elevated. Lay on your back and place both feet on the rollboard. Raise your torso off the ground such that only your shoulders are touching the ground. Fully extend your legs, 
then pull them back in. Do this in a slow, steady movement. If this is too difficult, you can rest your hips on the ground between each cycle. Orient the rollboard sideways, center your feet on it, and get into a plank position. Then maneuver the deck side to side by pivoting your torso. This unique movement is a great way to challenge your core and obliques while adding some shoulder stability. For a modified version, you can rest your forearms on the ground instead of your hands. Get into a plank position and put both feet on the rollboard. Engage your core and pull your knees into your chest, then slowly extend your legs back out. On this exercise, you are starting with the prone leg extensions and adding push-ups. Alternating the upper and lower body moves provides a great full body workout. In a plank position and with your feet on the rollboard, slowly walk forward with your hands, then backward. Keep your core tight in order to stop your hips from dropping. This is a challenging exercise that works out your core and upper body. To make this move even more difficult, you can add a push-up after every step. In a plank position, pull your feet in by raising your hips bending at the waist and keeping your legs straight. Once your hips are in the air, use your hands to walk forward into a plank position while keeping your feet in place, then repeat. If done correctly, this movement also provides great posterior stretch. Put your hands on the rollboard and slowly push forward. If you're doing this for the first time, it will be easiest if you use a stop at the end of the cycle, such as a block of wood. As you become comfortable with this move, try it without the stop. Pulling back without the stop will be much more difficult. Over time, gradually increase your extension. You can do this move with or without a stop at the end of the cycle. The full extension shown here is an advanced level move and is harder than it looks. Remember, when pulling back, use your core as opposed to your shoulders and arms. Take your time in working up to this.